just left uh, Jeff and Frank and it's starting to rain now as we go down. We're going down to Georgia to see my sister along with her uh, husband Bill and my brother. We're going to stay with him and his wife Elena. So we're looking forward to seeing them all. Yeah. A couple more hours of driving. We should be there. We have some new babies to meet as well. So we're excited about that to see everybody. Uh, but just enjoying the drive today. Life on the road. Gotta love it. So on the other side of this dam is Carter's Lake. And there's a lot of bridges and structures, dams that uh, need repair. And we're just looking at this one here. It looks like there's a crack in the wall and there's water coming through. I think that belongs there, but it is draining into something. Cool. So we're here visiting my brother Nelson and his wife Elena, and uh, he's got a really cool setup in his living room. Here he's got an arcade, which has got just about everything on it. Games from the 80s, from the 90s. It's got 30,000 games in here, believe it or not. 30,000 games in one console. A few that I've seen is Joust, Galaga, Donkey Kong. You remember this one? These are games that uh, we grew up with and I, and I have games. not seen for a very long time. So it's a very, very cool item. But he's got some other things over here that he's done, especially in the living room. He's got Stormtrooper, full size. Very cool item. He's got uh, C-3PO and R2-D2, which he has painted himself. He's done a really great job at uh, decorating his house. He's always been a Star Wars fan, a lot of sci-fi when he was younger, and uh, now he's uh, filling his house with the stuff that he remembers. Hey guys, we're on the road once again, heading to Helen, Georgia today, and it's made to look like a little Bavarian German village. Um, all the buildings and everything, um, just a really cool little place to visit. 
I've been there once before in the winter time, so it'll be nice to see it uh, in the warm weather in the summer. Everything kind of comes alive. They have tubing there and lots of really cool things to see and do. So we'll be bringing that to you in a little while, so stay tuned. We're here visiting another quaint little town, Dahlonega, Georgia. Little train. downtown and it's a square. They always have a lot of cute shops around. This is really cute. Yep. I've been here before but we didn't really stop in. I've been here before because I've lived in Georgia. And these are all these little towns that I used to go to. So it's actually kind of nice to come back to them. So Dahlonega is known for its mining of gold and they used to mine here starting in the 1800s all the way into the 1900s. to this store because they've got an array of different items from the past from the present. The world's smallest Lincoln dogs. I used to love those. The old slot machine. I'll be right here. Lazy days in Dahlonega, Georgia. <laughs>
like any other state, Georgia is no different. In the summertime, this is beautiful out here. We're next to uh, Dahlonega, and it is just gorgeous. It's a small lake, not a very big lake. And we are on our way to Helen, Georgia. So as I'm walking this trail back to Mr. Van Gogh, I have to watch myself because there is so much dog poop on this trail. Like if you got a dog, pick up your shit, dog. So we're stopping over here to check out baby land where the uh, Cabbage Patch kids were originated, which is in Cleveland, Georgia. For those who remember the Cabbage Patch kids, that was back in, back in the 80s. can adopt your very own Cabbage Patch Kid family. Kids, babies, boys, girls, and new patch puppies. I promise to take care of my Cabbage Patch pup. They're one of a kind. And just mine. We're a Cabbage Patch Kid family. New Cabbage Patch Kids babies, patch puppies, and fashions, each sold separately. I came here a long, long time ago. And uh, it was a lot smaller than this, and it was at a different location. So now this is pretty big. They've done a really good job in this new location here. <laughs> Cabbage patch.
little redhead that reminds me of my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is amazing. So is 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 the creator still? Yep. He's still around. Well, he travels a lot. Oh, okay. So. And what was? I, I kind of knew the history before, but what what was his name? Xavier Roberts. Yeah, wow. he was born and raised around him. In Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. Wow, how, that makes him how old is he now? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Mm -hmm. Wow, so he was really young when he created I mean, the Cabbage Patch. He's still in high school and work. At a store in Hillen. Wow. wow. That's where he came up with the idea of the baby. Wow. From that, it just took off. Yeah. Boy, it sure did. It sure did, especially back in, in the 80s, it was huge. Yes. The hard place came out in 83, I think, and they took off just like the soft place. Uh -huh. Wow. It's Brittany. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so in 1983, when the hard face came out, uh -huh. they became the best-selling doll introduction of all time. Wow. I remember they were big. I didn't know they were that big. And then twice, they've been the mascot for the U.S. Olympic team. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I did not know that either. Oh my goodness. Let's go to the delivery nursery. <gasps> oh. So these were born today. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at the little ones in the back there. So how cool was that? That was amazing. I remember them so well from the 80s, but to see where they all started, where they all were born, that was pretty awesome. Did you have one? I did not have one. I remember wanting one, but I never had one. I was just a little bit older. Well, that was very cool. You can go in. They don't charge you anything to go in. Um, you can do self-guided tour as well as they have a gift shop. You can adopt a Cabbage Patch doll right there on the spot. And the gift store was huge. Yeah. So they had a lot of Cabbage Patch dolls and accessories.